G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to U-Boat. It's been a while since I've had U-Boat up on the channel. For those of you who do not remember it, U-Boat is a submarine crew management simulator. It was released into early access earlier on this year. I did a few live streams and a bit of gameplay on it. it. Overall, I liked what I saw. I thought it was a pretty good game, some really good concepts behind it, but it was lacking a little, com a little um, content variety at the point of release, and there were some bugs that were causing me some issues, particularly involving save games, which is a little bit of a problem when you're trying to do a YouTube series, as I'm sure you would imagine. So I decided to give it a little bit of space, let some of the bugs be fixed. I have been informed that most of those have been addressed, however, there is a few bugs still, because early access. Regardless, we're going to take a little bit of a look and we're going to see what's there. So, we are U-96. We've just started our first patrol. We've just left port. We're fully stocked up on torpedoes. We're fully stocked up on food. All the crew is well rested and everybody is ready to rock and roll. And we are doing a hard mode patrol. So, if we bring up our map, our patrol is 2,500 kilometers inside this area. So, we're patrolling off the back of England. Um, or the back of the United Kingdom in general, to be perfectly honest, and this is going to be an interesting patrol. We're going to have lots of air cover operating the area, and air cover in this game can be real nasty. Some of those Sunderlands can get really accurate with their airdrop depth charges. Um, I've been sunk more than once because of them, so this should be a little bit of fun. Uh, we have got a transmission from HQ, which we'll quickly do a decode on now. Now it is uh, half past eight at the moment, 20.30, on the 23rd of May, 1940. So we're about to go into the evening, it'll get nice and dark. Now what is our message? Communications. Have a fruitful patrol, U-96. Yeah, okay, just well, we're wishing us well on our way. And we've got a patrol sector AM nothing else at this point all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to our patrol sector now we have just received a transmission from HQ low signal strength here so it should take us a little bit longer to actually get this one but we should be fine now it is now the 26th of May 1941 we've managed to pass the last two days of that incident no encounters at all and we are now well, floating around the back of the United Kingdom. I'm a little curious on exactly what our mission orders are going to be at this point, to be perfectly honest, because there is a lot of ports here that we could get sent into, and I really do not want to get in here. As far as I'm concerned, the Irish Sea is a death sentence. Now, overall, the boat itself is running well. Storage room, what do we got in the galley? Potatoes and fish. I think we do a little bit better than that. Let's get some of our preserved pork up there as well. And what is our message? We have information that crucial technology has been loaded onto the freighter Lady Drake. It must be sunk at all cost. Its predicted location is 56 North 8 west so where is 56 north 8 west just in relation to us all right you realize if they've crossed the atlantic and they're going back in here there is no way that i'm going to intercept them in time the only way i get a shot at them is if they're leaving england and going to the u.s Which it's possible they may be. And we have Contrail. Alright, Contrail, Contrail, Contrail. We are going to submerge. Take us to... Yeah, Periscope Depth, uh, periscope depth will do. Report Contrail. That. 
Not sure, no direction on it. Still, doesn't matter. Best to submerge now while we can. Come on, guys, take it down. Come on. Looks like everybody's on board. Get this thing under the water before that whatever it is spots me. Because that's, if that's a Sunderland with depth charges, it can give us a really bad day. Much better. Alright, and that should be about periscope depth. Didn't have a chance to pull the flag down, but that's fine. Now, our transport group is heading in this direction, so they're still quite some distance away. But at least we're not going to have to worry about chasing them off across the Atlantic. At least... Not yet. We have been detected. Oh no. How did they detect us? It's 1941. They shouldn't have magnetic detection equipment yet. At least not airborne magnetic detection equipment. That shouldn't start showing up until late 42. I think. Alright, so we're going to go to maximum safe depth. The only thing I can think of is she spotted the periscope on the surface, so going to maximum safe depth will disappear, and we should be below the maximum depth for her depth charges as well, or at least the likely depth they'll set them to. Let's hope we can escape. Actually, we don't need to go that deep. That'll do. 80 meters should do. Alright. Internal lighting to blue. Everybody else is resting. I'm fine with this for the moment. In fact, I go so far to say our engineer here should probably also get some rest. I don't actually need really anyone on station at this point. Fingers crossed we should break contact. A little bit of time acceleration, and there we go. Okay, so they lost contact. Excellent. Um, I'll keep us submerged for a little bit just to make sure we're well and truly clear of this aircraft's patrol route. And yeah, we'll do a little surface here in a moment just to pick up some air before we close on that transport group. Alright, 6.40 a.m. 27th of May 1941. We're in heavy fog. Seas are rough, but we are within range of the Lady Drake who is our target. We have no visual at this point in time. Visual is, in general, pretty garbage. We're looking at about estimated 14 kilometers from our target. This is not ideal conditions at all for an attack. Right, I'm gonna get our radio operator up here and I'm gonna get him actually on the hydrophones. Since our visual is garbage at the moment, let's get to Dex Dexa Wash. Should hopefully give us some hydrophone coverage. Unfortunately, in the U boats or at least in this particular model of Type 7 with this current uh, hydrophone system. The hydrophones are actually mounted on the top of the deck, so you have to partially submerge the submarine in order to be able to actually use them. Later models of the system had them based underneath. Um, there were some problems with that too, 
but it did mean that they could be used at pretty much all times. Alright, we're decks awash. Looks like the crew's coming in, actually. There, let's just set depth to be able to go. Uh, not the radio, get on the hydro yeah, phone, please. That one. Hopefully, he'll get better coverage out of it. Uh, not much better. Not much better at all. I was expecting more than that, to be honest. 13 kilometers. All right, we're going to stay submerged. Our submerged time should be a little over an hour, so we should have plenty of oxygen to be able to get in, get shots on these ships, and then get out. So this is the least optimal attack that I could possibly do. You know, observation and attack periscopes are up. But with this fog, we have so little visibility that we cannot actually see these ships. So we're calculating an attack solution on them based entirely on hydrophones. Now, a hydrophone operator is good enough we managed to identify a couple of the ships. The NA-1 and the NA-1. Now, these two are likely not the one we're after, I think, maybe. Although, it only says the Lady Drake. It doesn't say what the Lady Drake is. So, I'm making an assumption here that this is going to be our target. But we are going to have to attack all three. So, a 61% solution at this point. Range to target is 2 kilometers. We want to get much closer if we can. Hopefully, we'll be able to get ourselves a shot on this freighter at about a kilometer. And then switch over to this one, and then we can chase this one down. We'll just take all three and not mess around with the chances of actually missing one. We'll have to go through and surface at some point, though. Fuel is at 84. Oxygen is at 80%. So running, blue lighting, negative 15% usage. Fully depleted in 1 hour, 10 minutes. So that's all we've got. Right, we're at a 90% solution on the first freighter. Copy, 92% solution on the first freighter. I'll take a shot at that. Torpedoes up. Tube 1 flooding. 94. I'm going to reduce our speed and bring us down to forward 1. And... Torpedo is away. Now, 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Goes down. Herr Kaloy. Herr Kaloy. Bring up hydrophone operator again. Sekunden. Switch to second target. We can't calculate a solution on that one at all. 20 Sekunden. I do love how you can do this with the uh, the map. So Ten this is our freighter, 10 shot. seconds. Torpedo coming in, looks like it's a good shot. Oh, hard impact on the bow. Fire on the deck. Very nice, so they know we're here now. Herr Kaloy, Herr Kaloy. Shift to second target now. Torpedo ausrichten. Calculating a solution. Uh, 
new contact unknown group that will be the survivors starting to run uh not, not run um escape boats being launched now i'm actually going to bring us down to all stop and just hold position at the moment we're in a good angle here firing our next torpedo copy 10 Solution on our next target is at 51%. 52, we're going up pretty well because we're at such a short range. I want to fire this shot and then I want to shift to this target. I still can't actually see anything that's going on inside, uh, going on through this fog at this point. Side stations seem to be okay, everything's going fine. Right, let's bring up hydrophone operator again, seventy one. I don't want to really take the shot at anything less than ninety in this. Tube 1 is loaded, excellent. Let's bring us to forward 1. So we can change direction here a little bit more comfortably, line up the tubes a little bit better. Now, we could, because we have the observation periscope, the attack periscope, as well as a hydrophone operator, technically we can target three different ships and work three different calculations at exactly the same time, but because only the hydrophone operator can actually see anyone at the moment, the other two can't. This green ring is our maximum view in this fog at the moment. We've got to be nearly on top of them in order for our periscopes to be able to see anything. They're just up as a courtesy at this point. The hydrophone is everything. 85, let's bring up our solution on NA1 target 1. G7E, it will go with the G7E floating torpedo tube 2. Rot 2, fertig. 680 meters, 89% solution to target. Ninety percent solution to target. Los! Torpedo away. Thirty seconds bis torpedo einschlag. Thirty seconds, Kapitän. Shifting targets. Herr Kaloy. Twenty seconds. Oh, he is not going to be able to calculate that next target straight away. Yeah, we've got to wait for the current torpedo to leave. And it looks like it's going to go straight down the bow as well. Oh, we missed. No, we missed. Shit. Yes, indeed, it is a miss. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And we are so goddamn close at this point. We are so goddamn close. Yeah, let's do this. Let's 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 do this for this group. Surface the boat. I'm not going to try and calculate another torpedo. Not if a 90% solution misses like that. There's no point. But we're going to be able to see them really good in just a moment. In fact, there they are. A little bit of uh, an issue graphically. Oh no, that's just me putting the mouse over, just lining them up. 
Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. Uh, engines, engines, engines. Reverse one, reverse one. Get up on the gun, quick, 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 quick. Yep, you got two men already assigned to you. Get down onto that gun as quickly as we can. God, this is just right there. There we go, that's what I want. Now, let's go to manual mode because I want to do this myself. Let me reload. Now, the engines. Come on. Scheiße. Gotta be something in there that's explosive. Oh, that hit something. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're about to hit, we're about to hit. Engines, 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 Ford. Whoa. Uh oh, that wasn't good, that wasn't good, that wasn't good. Yeah, all right, all right, mate, all right, mate, all right, mate. Get off the gun now. Get up to there. Yeah, we've got some injuries. We have some injuries. Because I should have pulled it out of gear sooner. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, Lady Drake has officially been sunk. Let's sit Newman off of the hydrophone for the moment and onto the radio. And we are out of range to actually make that report. So, back to the hydrophone so we can keep track of where everybody is. What is our current damage? Some of the valves are damaged. Stabilize some of the radio man. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? First thing before hydrophone, get down here. Because our radio operator is obviously also our our head medic. Well, that was a really, really, really shitty way of doing things, but it worked in the long run. Alright, get on the hydrophone. Repairs are going. Where is our head mechanic? He's repairing everything at the moment, so we'll leave him alone. Cool. Alright, west. Get down here since we're on the surface anyway, and we're going to be a gunboat instead of a submarine for a little bit. Get the oxygen compressors running. Now. We know there is a transport this way. Ford 3. Let's see if we can find it. Alright, 
let's get the captain down to the deck gun. Yep, he's a crew member assigned with him. Excellent. All right, let's drop ourselves down to Ford One. Come on, Captain, get down there quickly, quickly, quickly. Move, 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 move. All right, manual mode. There should be a ship right here. at the moment. So into the back of the superstructure. We're actually losing this here at the moment. Go forward two. It's changing course in relation to us, so we'll make a bit of a turn on that. And we've only got HE left, it looks like we're out of AP. spots can we hit if I can get a shot of the bridge I'll take a shot of the bridge with the HE fire on board that's what I want to see was a lifeboat exiting the ship. Nailing the forward section of the superstructure, although it looks like the arse is going underwater, so we hit something move something open in the back end. Yeah, I mean... Nice. Alright, let's get the gun in forward position. And with that, the first mission of our first patrol is complete. Not exactly the cleanest of kills that I've ever um, I've ever had in a submarine, but it got the job done in the end. We've managed to get far enough south now that we can send off a transmission informing command that we have actually completed our mission. So from here, it is back onto the patrol, but we'll pick that up in another episode. Until then, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and as always... Take care.